Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another Sims 2 speed build video here with me, Tea Addict. So first of all, uh, I gotta tell you guys that I done goofed. Uh, this lot that you're looking at right here, this is the 1 and 2 and 3 engine down in Blue Water Village. You might be like, wow, that looks pretty different. Um, it does. Basically, so I knocked this lot to the ground, I bulldozed it, and I rebuilt it right next to the waterfront cafe in a warehousey style, similar to the cafe itself. And I recorded the entire speed renovation in the wrong resolution. So when I went to edit the video today, I was like, oh, drat. I can't release this because you could only see the top corner of my screen, which just wasn't acceptable. So instead I have come in and taken some sort of in-game footage and some screenshots to show you guys the renovation. I tried to keep the general theme of the lot kind of the same with the blue and yellow. If you remember the one and two and three and gym, it's very blue and yellow and <laughs> it's very leery and disgusting in my opinion. So I stuck with that general theme, that general aesthetic, and then I kind of put my own modern spin on it. So the gym has been completely, yeah, completely renovated, completely redone. It's uh, it's pretty fun. It's based on a, you know, some ideas from a couple of gyms that I used to visit back when I went to the gym. Uh, we got a weights area, cardio area, still got a pool, and yeah, it's um, it's nice. I like it. I'm excited to actually be able to play in this lot now and not feel like my eyes are burning. <laughs> you can see Brandy there working on her cardio and John was just standing there watching the TV. So great job, John. But yeah, so uh, this is what the one and two and three and gym looks like now. Uh, there's what the bathrooms look like. They're pretty basic, but again, with that blue and yellow theme. So yeah, that's that lot. And to make up for the fact that I done goofed on this build, we're actually gonna now jump into a second build that I'm gonna be showing you, which is back in Pleasant View. And it is a renovation of a community lot you might have seen before in my Pleasant View series called the Pleasant View Community Offices. Radio. so here we are in Pleasant View and this lot here is a lot we have visited a couple of times in my series. Uh, it is meant to be kind of like a, a town hall of a sort. Um, I guess it's kind of a courthouse, it's kind of got some offices where I envision that the mayor would work, maybe a lawyer, a local lawyer and a uh, social security sort of officer might work as well. We haven't utilized this lot as much as I would like to utilize it. And so part of my renovation today was trying to make it all a little bit more uh, inviting to give me more of a reason to come here. And there's a lot that I want to do with this lot. I want to have it owned by a mayor. I want to have a mayor of Pleasant View. I want to have a town council that meet in the boardroom to discuss things that are going on in the town. Uh, and yeah, just I, would, I just want to have a lot going on here. And so the renovation today, I wanted to make things a little bit more up to date, use some of my new CC and make things, uh, make sure to set things up in a way that I know they're going to function. So after the renovation, we are actually gonna come in and do a little bit of play testing in the lot as well. But so this office down here, I envision as being kind of like where a lawyer, a local lawyer works. So if you need legal advice for one reason or another, as a citizen of Pleasant View, you can come down here, you can see a local lawyer who, you know, comes in and works a couple days a week here in the Pleasant View Community Center to service the local townsfolk. So I was using this great desk, which is a conversion from, I think, Hafizizale. I don't know how you say your name. I'm sorry. You're a fantastic, fantastic asset to our community, but I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, and I noticed that the slots are actually too low on the top of the desk. So I ended up having to put everything on top of all this piece. The other thing about this desk, um, and I kind of skipped over it, but it's designed so that the chair should be in the center of the desk, but it's cloned off of a desk where the chair goes on the side. So I have an invisible dining table in my game and I decided to go ahead and put that in the center of the desk so and then put the chair so it slots into the table uh, and it totally works. So handy dandy tip, if you guys have a couple of desks which are meant to be like center desks but they don't actually function as center desks, you can totally do that. 
So there you go. <laughs> fun, fun, fun facts with Tea Addict. Fun tips with Tea Addict, I should say. But yeah, so this office here, uh, you can see it's got the jobs notice board in it for now. Um, right, right at the end of this video, you're going to see me change that. But um, yeah, I kind of just wanted this office to be warm and inviting. Uh, you know, this this building is not meant to be cold or sterile whatsoever. It's meant to be a warm, friendly community center for the citizens of Pleasant View. They shouldn't be scared about, you know, wanting to come and visit the, the local lawyer for some legal aid. Uh, and yeah, so you'll see me save a lot <laughs> uh, as I do this build. And that's because I actually, I started it and then just a little ways into the build, it crashed. And I was like, oh, that's really weird. Uh, so yeah, you will see me save quite a few times here as we do this build. Uh, I kept the general shape of the build the same. There's a couple of little changes uh, to the outside uh, cosmetically, but not really very much at all. Most of the changes I did were on the inside of the lot. Um, I wanted to add some parking on the side here using the, because I have the uh, mods by Moghausen that allow my sims to actually come and park in a car park if they bring a car to a community lot. So I go ahead and I, I shove a little driveway up the side of the lot there. The, and I, I uh, was like, yeah, I'll test that and see how it looks, see how doofy it is. And uh, if it works, we'll, we'll go with it. Um, but I do end up actually, again, right at the end of this video, you'll see I changed that. So there you go. And that's after playtesting a lot. Now, this room up here. So this is meant to be like the courtroom. So this is where your Sims should be able to come and get a uh, divorce if they want to get divorced. This is where they should be able to come for hearings, for, you know, anything legal that's pretty much going down in Pleasant View. Uh, they they should be coming up here so i wanted to try to set this room up as a little bit more of like a courtroom uh it was all divided up with half walls and oh my dog's outside barking sorry rocky stop um yeah it, it didn't make a lot of logical sense the way that the room was set up and so i wanted to change it and i wanted to make it bigger so I was considering extending it out over the car park, but instead I decided to get rid of the way that the stairs worked in the lot originally, because those the way that I had the stairs set up actually set up a lot of routing fails uh, that I'd noticed the couple of times we had been to the lot. We had a lot of routing fails. Rocky! Sorry guys, I got my window open so you gets really loud. Uh, but yeah, so I changed the way the stairs work so we could make the courtroom bigger. Now here I am working on the sort of judge stand and I thought it would be fun to have the judge propped up on that little platform that you can see I put in there. I say little platform, it's actually a stage using the stage tool. And I'll be honest, I really, really envy The Sims 4 when I want to when I want to put things up on like just slightly higher uh, heights in The Sims 2. I'm like, dang it, I need the platform tool from The Sims 4. Even The Sims 3 constrained floor elevation would have been good because you just had more control over it. But it's all good. Um, so I pop it up there and then I'm sort of trying to work on a layout. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted this to look. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted it to function. So you'll see me go through through a couple of different iterations here you'll see me go through a couple of different layouts um, and event I don't settle on one until we actually play test a lot uh, over on the side of the courtroom there I've actually put in a little jury spot if we wanted to have some uh, sims form up a jury if we ever have like a particular court case where we feel we need a jury um, and then this here is just a little spot for uh, citizens to witness a case uh, going on. So yeah, you can see I've, I've tried to make it a lot more courtroomy. <laughs> um, the whole time I was doing it, I was thinking of just legally blonde. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we've got two witness stands and then the judge stand up the front and a little like cross-examination chair in the back there that I thought would be a bit fun. And yeah, as I said, it, it's not the final layout. I just wanted to test it out, see how it worked or if it worked and go from there. So then I realized that the uh, judge stand actually has some English text on it. And, and I got really upset about that because I hate when things have English text on them in The Sims. So I decided to put some half walls around it. Again, kind of thinking to myself like, oh, I don't know if that's actually going to be out of function with half walls around it. So that'll be another thing to test when we come into the lot to do the play testing. Um, and then I put in this like wood paneling around all the half walls because because I needed a texture that could go over the gap uh, between this, the stage and the half wall seamlessly. 
which I ended up finding there using that uh, that paneling texture. So yeah, this is basically how we leave the courtroom, I think. <laughs> um, just going through a few different options for the paneling. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically how we leave it. So this area downstairs, uh, as I said, I wanted to redo how the stairs worked. So I ended up going with a much simpler, less constrained floor elevation-y uh, solution for the stairs, which was just to put in uh, a sort of very simple up uh, U-shaped staircase using the stage tool again. So that's what we do with that. And that just gives us a lot more room to play with on the top floor and just makes things a lot smoother and cleaner. And I don't know, it was just simpler. So I thought that would be better in terms of the routing of the lot and the way the lot's gonna perform. And then, yeah, there's just like a little spot um, outside the courtroom where people can wait for their case or whatever. So yeah, now moving down into the boardroom, this lot, uh, sorry, this room I didn't actually change too much. I recolored the tables to match with the windows. We have a very orange and green theme <laughs> to this lot, which uh, yeah, sure, okay. Um, and yeah, basically this boardroom is, it's pretty simple. I just want it to be a place where the town council can meet and discuss things. And I put in that whiteboard there which I thought was kind of cute. I put in a massive rug under the table. Uh, I picked up a bunch of Isotopia rug recolors and also Isotopia slaved, like different size rugs recently, uh, which, I, which I've been enjoying using. And then over here, we have this little kitchenette area, which, um, yeah, is, is kind of mostly for the town council meetings or for people who actually work here. Uh, on a daily basis like for example yeah if we have a mayor or a lawyer or whoever who's working here they can come down here and grab themselves some refreshments so it's a very simple little kitchenette uh, there's you can see there's a mini fridge a little toaster oven and I think I do go back and put the coffee machine back in as well which I deleted um, but originally there was a coffee machine there too and then we do actually go through and detail those shelves in a minute as well uh, but yeah so this as I said this is just the sort of front desk reception area at this point this actually does change in the very final inter iteration of the lot as well uh, yeah so here we go I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some mugs up on the shelf because we uh, need plenty of mugs <laughs> so everyone can have a cuppa cup of tea when they're having their meeting or a coffee or whatever and then uh, just some little uh, smaller coffee glasses or coffee cups as well as some plates and bowls just yeah as I said very very simple very kind of generic stuff I, I don't know and then yeah I wanted to put some things either side or next to the whiteboard uh, I mentioned this in my last speed build video I'm trying to work on getting better with like cluttering my lots and that goes for wall decorations as well so I go through and I have a look at a lot of different like businessy postery things related things that I have in my game, which I've recently sorted out into their very own, very special collection folder. So good job me. Um, I thought about putting that, uh, yeah, Sims 4 conversion board in there for a little while. I, yeah, I put the pin board up and then I'm like, okay, I like the pin board, but I don't like it there. So then I put that over there and I don't know. I just, I changed this around a few times, I think. What I end up putting up there is a kind of like a, pull down projector screen. Uh, I think it's that one there, yeah, with some pie charts on it. So I don't know, I guess they're just like talking about business figures or population figures or something. I don't really know. <laughs> because they're up here in the mayor's office. This is the mayor's office. Um, I didn't have to do too much because this room was already pretty, pretty good. Um, I do some more chairs that are placed on Anno Escobie's object rotators, which you'll see me pull out here in a minute. Really, really cool object. You gotta go, you guys gotta get yourselves an object rotator from Anno Escobie. Um, and th that desk there, you can see this desk actually works uh, in terms of what I was talking about before with the chair actually slotting to the center of the desk because it's made on a three tile based um, desk or table. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> And then yeah, just going ahead, we want to put some blinds up just for a little of extra privacy in here. I really loved using the warmer toned woods in this lot in general. I tend to fall into doing too much white and black. So yeah, I, I enjoyed doing some warmer tones 
uh, for this lot than what I do typically do. But right now we're coming to the end of the speed build portion and we're actually going to be jumping into some play testing here on the lot, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to test out the, the courtroom basically and see how it works and then yeah, so I will see you guys there. Alrighty everybody, so here we are for some live play testing because why not? Um, I have set up a little scenario here that I want to test out because if you guys have been watching my Pleasant View series for a while, uh, you might remember that when Mary Sue Pleasant and Daniel Pleasant wanted to get divorced, I tried to bring them down here to the community center to uh, use this awesome like lawyers set, lawyer set by uh, Katie Sims or Katie PC Sims, I think it's called. Let me double check that. KD76 at PCSims.com. This is really old Sims 2 custom content that I grabbed off of Jessa uh, a long time ago. And um, yeah, so we have Mr. and Mrs. Potts, or Mr. and Missy Potts, uh, who are married currently, but they're furious with each other. Their relationship's not working out. Uh, they're, they're having some rough times. And I want to see if I can work out how to make this... Uh, lawyer stand work and to see if it's functional. One of the things I wanted to test in particular, I'm sure I mentioned in the voiceover, is that it works while it's up on this pedestal here. So I've grabbed this random townie, she just happened to be on the lot, her name's Priscilla Fields, and she's going to offer to judge these two sims. Uh, so we're going to say offer to judge Mr. Uh, okay, so that's not working immediately. Right. Uh, what if we offer witness Uh, offer of judge someone? Hold on, let me see if I can get this to work. So, offer to judge mister? Okay, so immediately I'm thinking it's not actually going to work with it up on that little uh, platform. I think there's problems. Maybe, first of all, I'm going to try just deleting the half walls that I put around here uh, and see if that helps. Pop that back where I want it. I'm guessing it's probably not going to work with it up on this little uh, thing here. So offer to judge mister. Let me see. Wait, oh, did I have the wrong sim selected? Wait, are you, judge are you trying to judge yourself right now? Well, that makes no sense, does it? <laughs> offer to judge mister. Okay, maybe instead I'll just have him come down and sit here. Jill Smith, what are you doing here? I thought I banned anyone else from coming to this lot. Go away, I don't want people here unless I personally bring them here. So Jill, I don't know why you're here, but whatever. Okay, so offer to judge, maybe we'll say that... So her name's Priscilla. Well, she can't judge. Offer to judge Priscilla? Ah, okay, so if when I say offer to judge, that means the person who's actually going to go up there and judge. Right, okay, so now what we can do is we can, like, give evidence or we can offer a witness, which is kind of fun. So we could have him come up here and give evidence. And let's see what Priscilla does while he's doing that. Uh, start witness evidence. We can also take divorce, watch judging, be judged, or make pause. Interesting. So I guess, like, she's kind of watching this happen. Right, so let's say that he said his piece, uh, Missy's, you know, a nasty piece of work, and she's making his life miserable. Now, you could do your own evidence there, Missy. You could, you know, rebut. Oh, and you earn some money. How nice. Start witness evidence. Okay. So she's doing that, right, right. And um, Priscilla's not really seeing uh, Missy's, uh, yeah, Missy's side of things here by the look. So I'm curious, what happens if we do uh, be judged? Missy's gained a charisma skill point. Good job. So did you not like that because you're saying there's a wall? Okay, what if we say divorce with Missy? Right, so yeah, I don't think it's going to work with it up on the platform. Alright, let's really quickly then, let's get you to just come over here. Please. Please. Uh, Priscilla. Ow! Yeah, no, they're not getting along at all. Uh, sorry, make pause, I guess. 
Okay, come down here. Right, so let's really, really quickly jump into build mode then. And what I'm going to do is just get rid of this whole thing that I had set up here. I mean, I wanted it to be raised because I felt like that would be fun. But it's definitely not <laughs> an essential part of the design of this uh, this place for it to be up on, the, up on a pedestal. So what we could do instead is something more like could just have that go straight along there to be honest just something like that I guess okay so let's try this so we would like Priscilla to judge us okay so she's gonna go back there and start judging again okay so now if you stand here and you stand here you can't stand there because the <laughs> That thing's in the way. Is that so? I could move all of that back a block, maybe, just to give ourselves a bit more space up the up the front of this little room here. Okay, so first of all, I want to see what happens if we say take divorce. Nothing. What if you say divorce with Missy? Okay, so he's going to go up to the judge. He's going to talk to her. She's going to get up and walk over. And just like that, they're getting a divorce. All right. I'm just going to bump up there. Oh, how sad. And now their relationship's negative 100. They're like negative whatever. I think they're both actually happy they got divorced. Okay. Interesting. So make pause means she'll like walk away. Okay. Well, that's kind of fun. All right. I'm glad I've kind of figured out how this works a little more. So yeah, what I might do, I'll have to do all this um, back in like when we're not visiting this lot actively with Sims. I'll just move all this just like backwards, just a smidge, I think. So let me see. It's just going to be a bit tricky with the way the half walls can't be placed. Not on a... Uh, half block because I could do something like that so then it's like you know if someone is on trial they could be seated there someone else could be seated here whatever um and then yeah like repaint that and then there's just a little bit more space in front of the the judge stand yeah that's kind fun all right cool okay so I think that's gonna work so the other thing I was thinking might be fun um, is what we could actually do as well as doing divorces and, and legal trials here and stuff is we could actually make this a spot that Sims can come down and get married in a civil ceremony and uh, I was wondering if I put just a little like wedding thing here I mean I don't have to have this here all the time like, I could literally have couples come down here and we could place this down if if and when they want to get married here. Um, so what I could do, let me see. Can I just quickly repair their relationship? Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, so it is with the Sim Blender. You go Sim Blender, relationships, furious. Remove all furiousness in hood. Remove all furiousness on lot. So I think if I do that... Okay, so they're now, they're all good. So we're going to pretend that they've now reconciled. Uh, they no longer want to be divorced. <laughs> and then let's uh, get them to do like a romantic hug or something. Sorry about, you know, the whole divorce thing. I actually do love you lots and actually do want to be married to you. Um, cool. Okay, so then let's do like, uh, I have mods, so this is really easy. I can go develop love. I can make you develop love. Um, there we go. Okay, and now I could even, like, have you pose here as their celebrant. Because <laughs> it would be fun. Uh, and then can you say, say, uh, Priscilla, be our... Oh, you're saying there's a wall in the way. Okay. What if I bring that forward just a little? Uh... Offer to judge Priscilla. Priscilla, come back. Okay, that's working. Can we have her marry us? Because that would be fun too. No, okay, we can only do divorce. But what if I say... Oh, I have to make them engaged. Oh, duh. 
Okay, that one I'll use the sim blender for. So relationship, Missy, set, engaged. Okay, now that should apply to both of them. Yes, now. Can I have you guys get married here? Do you have the space? Not quite. All right, so we'd have to just move, move the wedding mat slightly. All right, so then if I just, like, what if I just nudge that forward to, like, there maybe? Can you guys get married? Oh, fun! So now we can do civil ceremonies down here at the Pleasant View Courthouse as well as civil divorces. Although that makes me kind of happy. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting? Is there someone else on the lot who has to come in? Nope. There we go. All right, so all's well that ends well, Mr. and Mrs. Potts. Wait, she's going to say no! <laughs> <laughs> Missy Potts is like, no way. This is way too much drama for me, mate. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Potts. This is why I named him Mr. and Mrs. Potts, by the way, because I literally have a teapot here, which is Mrs. Potts. Um, that was really unfortunate. I guess this couple really is not meant to be together. But okay, the, the proof of concept still stands. It is possible um, we could make this happen. Brilliant. All right, I'm happy with that playtesting, I think. So we're going to make this lady unselectable now and get these sims back home. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this lot turned out. Um, oh yeah, I did add some extra like decoration down here as well. I added some filing cabinets, some wall posters, uh, just some fun little bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to use this lot more in our in our Pleasant View series. I think it's going to be really nice to, yeah, have the Sims come down here. I want to have like a town council and have town meetings around this giant table here. Fun things like that. Um, I've got a lot of plans. I've also got a spreadsheet that I'm going to be filling in. Um, yeah, here we go. So this is the Pleasant View spreadsheet that I will be filling in. It's got nothing in it right now. But I'm going to have a tab here for the community center and we're going to have everybody's details of like who works here and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, we'll have a mayor who works up here in the mayor's office. Obviously, that's the nice office. It's the really uh, fancy one. And then, yeah, we, we might have like a uh, social services worker who works downstairs here. Um, and if they require a lawyer to be present on the lot because of a court case that's going on, uh, but we could add a lawyer to the lot. I'm still considering if I want to... I think I am going to turn this into a properly functional car park. This right here is just decoration. It's just neighborhood deco. And I think I could extend the lot by 10 tiles quite easily and turn this into a functional car park. Or we could add on some extra offices. I'm not sure. Okay, sorry. Just jumping back in here with a little bit more footage and another voiceover. So I edited the lot. I extended it and I added this lovely car park that you see right here. Um, and then I decided to actually enclose the front desk area to create a third office because I decided that I really wanted to have like an employee, uh, sorry, a social worker who helps Sims get jobs or, you know, with social work matters. Then this office is for a lawyer. Um, and then the upstairs office is still for a mayor. It means we don't have a front desk anymore, which is a little unfortunate because I liked the front desk area, but I think I would prefer to have three enclosed offices here for three actual sort of separate roles here in the community center. So that's what I decided to go ahead and do. So here's the finished courthouse slash community office. I don't really know what to call it, whether I should keep it as Pleasant View Community Office or change it to Community Courthouse. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think a proper name for this lot would be. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this speed renovation. Uh, again, sorry about the gym uh, footage mess up. I will definitely not be doing that again anytime soon. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave a like. Leave your thoughts and comments and suggestions for gameplay, name ideas, anything like that down below. Uh, you can also subscribe, of course. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a video in The Sims 1 one and then we'll be back next week with more sims 2 renovating woohoo so everybody take care have a great week and i will see you next time bye for now